Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Well, I think that's it for the garden for this year, for most of the things in the garden. We've had temperatures, even though it's only the middle of September, we've got um, at least two days now, two nights, that we've had temperatures drip, dip down to the freezing mark. I thought this was going to be high enough elevation that I wouldn't get much uh, plant damage. And I didn't see an actual frost uh, on the plants themselves, but it got cold enough that all the warm weather vegetables are dying off, all the plants are dying off. So I'll show you the squash behind me, the leaves are turning black, uh, the beans are all wilting, the peppers are wilting. Uh, what else? The uh, Well that's the most of the things that are really suffering, I guess, the things that really like the warm weather. So I'm going to have to harvest stuff and get it away. Get it put away. Uh, this root cellar, I'll have to put that roof on today. Just going to finish off the in, inside of it first, so before putting the roof on, just because it, um, once I put the roof on, I'm not going to have all, all that natural light to work in. But um, I have to get the roof on so that frost can't settle in and so that I can hold some of that warmth from the earth in it. So I'll do that. So, squash in particular, I've got, um, I think I've got some acorn squash in here. <laughs> I kind of just randomly threw seeds in the ground uh, after I got the initial beds uh, laid out and planted. So wherever there was a mound of dirt or some compost or something, I'd throw a squash seed into it. So got them spread around all over the place. The uh, oh, the watermelon's starting to die too. I see. So all these squash plants, um, they're not the acorn uh, squash. Well, I'll see if I can find them, but the spaghetti squash aren't brown yet. So they aren't fully mature, so I'm going to try one tonight and get the rest of them stored in the underground cellar and all the last of those big zucchinis that have been growing, I'll get those into the cellar. Uh, beans, I'll probably just hang those up to dry and use them as dried beans. Um, peppers are done, jalapenos, I've got a few left of those. Tomatoes, I'll leave those on the vinyls. Tomatoes are doing, tomato plants didn't die off and the Tomatoes, a lot of them didn't haven't ripened yet, but they will if I take them in, put them maybe in, in the cold storage or on the uh, in the porch of the cabin at least, and let some sun get on them and get, hope they ripen so that I can get them preserved. So anyway, I'm happy with this year as far as food production is concerned and food harvesting. It's the best year by far that I've ever had for wild mushrooms. I got two wild turkeys in the spring, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, caught lots of fish this summer. Um, duck season just started yesterday as you saw in the last video and uh, got a few ducks already and there's lots of grouse and ducks and geese around so I'll definitely get into them and then deer season opens in a couple of weeks for bows so I'll uh, don't know why I wouldn't get a deer I always get my deer at least one and I may head south to get uh, where there's extra tags available to get uh, another deer or two down there as well um, yeah good year for food so in that last video, those were wood ducks that I shot, uh, three wood ducks on the pond, or the sort of the stream widening in the meadow right behind the cabin. Um, there is wood ducks kind of scattered throughout those ponds back there, so I'm going to continue to walk back there and see how many I can harvest before they head south. Uh, lots of geese flying around, I hope to get, get into them as well, and lots of grouse. So um, what else did I do in that? Uh, the m mushrooms that I harvested, they were so those mushrooms that were in the hood of my jacket, they were chicken of the woods, uh, sulfur shelf, I think they're, they're also known as. And um, when you find those, they're typically big masses of them, and they really do taste like chicken when you cook them up. So dehydrating a lot of that and then eating them fresh. Now, I've got some friends coming up to the cabin for about a week, and uh, we're going to be doing some fishing and and uh, small game hunting and scouting for big game. So that should be a fun time this week. Now the rattlesnake that you saw in that video, that is not common in Ontario, Canada. They're uh, pretty rare, it's rare to see them. In fact, that's only the third one I've seen in my lifetime. All three of them were close to Georgian Bay, which is uh, part of Lake Huron, and it's uh, sort of the coastline in the rocky areas that the rattlesnakes are still found. Uh, but even then, like I said, they're not common to see. I've seen the three. That was the third one. I saw one when I was tracking a bear 25 years ago, maybe. And uh, same thing, a young one in a marshy area. 
And then uh, I was out duck hunting in October, I think, with my kids out on Georgian Bay. Um, when would that be? 2008 or 9? And uh, saw a nice big mature one there, again, in a marsh, but because of the cool weather, again, very docile like this one was. Uh, they are typically docile anyway. They're not a great risk to, to people. Um, they don't, they're not aggressive, so they only bite when they're defending themselves. But I was, uh, felt fortunate to see that. I was happy to, to have that encounter, and fortunately, Callie just walked right past it, didn't even notice it, so I was able to film it without her realizing there was one there. Anyway, just thought I'd give you that quick update on what's going on and explain a few of the things that happened in the last video on the other channel. So if you are, uh, if you like watching this kind of video, if you like watching the self-reliant lifestyle and you maybe can learn something from me, maybe not. Um, but anyway, um, if you want to click on the link down in the bottom right hand of your screen, that's a link to my other channel if you want to subscribe to that to see longer videos. And if you are interested in what I'm doing here, probably this uh, playlist up here is the best way to, to do that. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.